All right, we have Amina Ekic here. So uh, if you have any questions, we'll keep you on the same thing. Raise your hand uh, on the Zoom chat and uh, we'll get started. Obviously, you had a great experience in Australia, it was cut short, um, but just uh, give us an update on, on where you are uh, physically as you're trying to work your way back from your uh, injury. Yeah, of course. So I suffered um, a fibula fracture in Australia. Um, they took great care of me. Uh, thank you to Melbourne City. And then I came home. Racing has been taking great care of me. I've been in great care. Um, I got out of my boot recently, so I'm looking to return to the field in about a month, month's time. But rehab is going great. I'm in the gym. I'm getting stronger. Uh, my leg is getting better. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep up with the PT in the gym in the next couple of weeks, and then hopefully I'll be on the field. I mean, I feel like the, the loans have, have become a little bit more prevalent this offseason. You guys come to Australia and across the league as well. But before the injury, how do you think that loan really helped you out as a player and seeing a different experience and playing with some different fighters? Oh, yeah. Australia was great. It was um, great for me uh, on a personal standpoint and uh, my soccer career because it gave me the chance to go play somewhere outside of my hometown, which I've actually never done. Uh, live on my own, you know, away from home quite far. Uh, I gained a lot of experience, different styles of play, adjusting, adapt adaptability, um, learning under like different coaches, having to make, you know, friends and get really out of my comfort zone and be comfortable um, being uncomfortable. So that was great for me. It was a learning experience like all around. Uh, is a while since you'd be interested in the, in the future again, or, or do you want uh, to say just push on here at, at racing, push for your uh, push for a star next five? Um, I would definitely be interested to go on a loan again. I think it was a great experience. Uh, I got to see different styles of soccer and how it's played differently. Um, and I learned a lot. I think, um, like I said, I've been playing in the U.S. and in Louisville for like twenty three years, so. It's great. I'm happy to be back, but it's definitely a cool experience. And hopefully down the road in my career, I get to play some more international soccer. I know the injury probably like changes some of your focus coming into this year. Like your first full focus now is getting healthy. But coming into a season like this, what do you see for yourself as like the biggest goal you want to try and, and attain this season? I mean, for sure, the team is looking good. Um, you know, I think we want to build on last year. I think we finished strong. So I think the goal right now for everyone is to pick up where we left off and have a better season than the first year and the second year and be in the playoffs and be in that top six. So that's kind of the focus right now all around. Jackie has a question. Yeah, go ahead, Jackie. Thank you. Hey, Amina, um, Jackie here with Women Kickballs. Um, just wanted to ask you about, you know, kind of talking about that injury aspect and as you're taking things a little bit slower in that recovery process and and just building back up, what have you maybe just kind of learned about your teammates or your coaches, um, whether it's just kind of like maybe some leadership aspects or what kind of has stood out to you as you're in a, like a little bit of a different role right now, at least? Yeah, for sure. Uh, when I came in this year, I feel like we had a lot of changes and stuff. And I'm actually one of the players that's been here the longest um, from the start. So I had a lot of people coming up to me and asking me questions and like about the schedule and what we're doing. So it was definitely like kind of a shift from me coming in from college and then kind of just like, I don't know what to do or I don't know what's going on to helping out other players. But it's also given me the opportunity to kind of like sit back and like watch practices but as well, like get to know people off the field more, which I think is kind of different than when you're like training with them. So I've kind of had to go out of my way and like be like a social butterfly and get to know everyone because I don't get to see them as often as I would if I was on the field. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've enjoyed my time off the field and, you know, rehabbing myself, but like getting to see everyone again and chat with everyone and like the Lynn family, like in the front of the building. So I'm just like kind of buzzing and I'm kind of just going place to place talking to everybody. Yeah, that's awesome. And just a quick follow up from that too, just thinking of, yeah, kind of having a different perspective right now of just the team as a whole, like what kind of standard or just like, how do you hope um for racing to like 
I guess what tone do you want racing to set as you think about just where you guys are at in the preseason and obviously entering into um, the regular season as well? To be honest, it's kind of hard for me to see because I'm not out there. Uh, I'm usually doing my own workouts in the gym, and then sometimes I get to catch a glimpse of practices outside. But, I mean, the chemistry off the field is great, so that's a good starting point. Like, it's so comfortable, fun. Everyone's having a good time. Um, and you can see how that translates onto the field. But whenever I get to watch the team practice or, like, play in these uh, scrimmages off or preseason scrimmages, um, we look better and better each time. Like the chemistry is there. The way we move the ball is good. Um, so I think it's a combination of just like we finally found our balance between moving the ball and going forward and everyone kind of understanding their role. And I think a key aspect of this season is having everyone on the team understand every position, every role on the field. That way we all have kind of like a base understanding and we're all on the same page. For sure. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you. Since you haven't been able to participate in practice yet, how much time have you spent with Bev and gotten to know her? Um, you know, in the lunch, in like the lunch room, like that's where I see people. I see them in the office when I stop by. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know her more. I've actually spent some time in the gym with her. We'd bike, uh, we'd roll up the Peloton bikes, and then we'll uh put like a game on. So like when Vods gives me like a 45 minute bike workout, you know, I'm like we're watching the first half of the game and we're talking and we're biking. So looking forward obviously to like building more connections um as the time goes on but she's lovely she's a great coach and she's uh I think she's done really well with us so far you mentioned that you're like one of the originals on the team I think with uh Lauren Katie and I don't know if I'm missing anybody off the top of my head three of us three of you yeah but it's unique because three of you are still young players like in the grand scheme but you have like a veteran status yeah here. do you guys bond over that and, and what's it like I guess to be in that role I mean, we, we do. It's definitely been brought up, and I think it's different because we've been here from the start. Yeah. So we have seen everything, like, from the first year to now. And, I mean, it's exciting because it's come a long way, like, from everywhere, from, like, us, you know, upstairs, like, the building in general, like, the facility, like, it has grown so much. But um, also the football has as well. Just like the chemistry on and off the field, the game plan, the different staffs, like everything has made an improvement for the better. And it's kind of like proud to sit back and watch, but like we want to push further and we want to get, you know, to better places. We want to be a championship team. Perfect. Thank you.